What's good, guys? I uh, this is kind of a serious video, so if you guys ain't into seriousness, you don't have to click on this. But I think it would help if you just listen, you know, because maybe you know somebody who's in this situation. Uh, it, it could be your mother, your grandmother, your sister, your cousin, and it has to do with a YouTuber that I don't know personally, but I was in one of her videos a while back. You can look up direction directions. <laughs> Above me or below me, wherever I can put it, right? Her name is uh, Chao Rishu. She's from uh, she's from the UK, and I've been watching her for some time. She recently posted a uh, a post right in her community tab, and she's having some ex boyfriend problems, and not the kind of ex boy problems, you know, like does he miss me and will I ever get him back? You know, not that kind of problem. This guy is from. Well, I don't. Well, I guess he's from Pakistan. He's a Pakistani dude, right? She posts on her community tab here. If I can actually pull it up, right? Okay. So pretty much YouTube sent her a video or sent her an email, pretty much saying privacy complaint, and the guy is making the privacy complaint. Now he's a public figure, or he used to be. As of this video, I'm searching like the dude's name right and it doesn't really pop up but there is a private facebook account supposedly that she has fortunately i couldn't get that information so it's just allegedly right now and in this video i mean i'm showing parts of it right here no audio but if you want to check out her video that's link description all that junk right and basically in this video she's talking about like how she kind of met him fell for him and the kind of weird shit and she was he's muslim so you know obviously she, they're his religion's pretty strict from my understanding when it comes to looking for a mate <laughs> and she doesn't believe in you know any god but she believes in aliens so she wants to make that clear she believes in aliens <laughs> hey uh in this video she pretty much like tells them tells us how he was and he could be a little like vain pretty much acted like he was the richest guy on the planet but obviously he lives off his mama and dad but, you know like every little boy in the world you know i'm surprised she's not arrested for dating a little boy because that because what he's doing to her right now is bitch move you know a bitch move he's pretty much he stole money from her now we can argue and say that it would maybe it was her fault for trusting him. Right. We all make mistakes. But maybe but maybe it's not as that it's not that, right? Maybe he fucking stole from her and she didn't even know. He did end up stealing money from her. He pretty much fucked up her identity. And he, he just scammed her, you know? He even got her a ring that apparently cost like five hundred thousand dollars. But her sister had found the same ring that cost like a hundred bucks. So he was just scamming her. He's just pulling her leg, right? And and she's a pretty girl. So when she sent images, apparently he shared a fucking photo cloud, you know, with his family. So when she sent a sexy picture of her in a bikini, lucky son of a bitch, it's always the bad ones, right? The family saw it and he got in trouble because he's Muslim, right? <laughs> and and before everybody makes fun of me saying that I'm a simp, I'm not a simp because she's not a twitch thumb, <laughs> you know. But uh, I'm all like, at least he didn't sleep with her. That's good. Who must start? That was fucked up of me to say. But he's a dick. He's a douchebag. And he doesn't deserve my respect. Fuck that. When somebody steals from your money, he steals your money, I think you have every right in the world to call him every disgusting thing in the book i'm sorry that's just how i feel uh, I'm, a, I'm i'm not civil i'm a savage not that kind of savage i mean like i'm a caveman i was born in old days before technology we handled things oh fuck my cuts yeah i don't know if you guys know the cuts and stuff but yeah so i wanted to just bring awareness to the situation i don't know exactly what i can do to help i only know one way to help and that's but we live in a civil world and that's not acceptable but 
people like this get away with shit and when you tell cops they need evidence and it's just fuck the evidence man like like i recently got attacked right i got attacked at work right and of course look at me i always get attention from the bad guys this is what i get this guy was a bum and i spoke to him civilly fucking attacked me yeah yeah i'm pressing charges because what if it was a woman what if it was a kid and the cops don't do anything about it but but god forbid i do something about it right i'll get arrested and that's what i'm talking about with Xiao. Xiao Xiao's doing the right thing here she's bringing awareness to this guy being a scumbag he reports it and almost gets her shut down for a privacy complaint when he's a public figure because he has a Facebook or he had an Instagram. Just because he didn't have one no more doesn't mean he's still not a public figure. She's not exposing his address or anything like that. She's just showing that this guy's a scumbag and she has police reports. I'm pretty sure she does. You know what I mean? That's like that's like telling that's like a woman telling a, a everybody in the world this guy grabbed my ass on the bus station and he complains oh she's, she's fucking up my privacy dog now people are gonna kill me i mean if you're one of those people i think you're rightfully so uh i'm kind of a little frustrated reading this because i i feel so because i've seen her video when she talked about it she felt so helpless and and just felt like you know a piece of shit and i'm and i i feel her on that right because you know what i know not all pakistanis are like that but there was one time i had 200 dollars, right it was the only 200 bucks i had and you know i was gonna get paid in three days or so and this guy drove up to me and he you know his ex said please help me man i i got starving kids and I need money to, to get gas to take them home and feed them. I need money and I live in fucking butt fuck nowhere, you know? And this is why I hate having a conscience, right? But God cursed me with one. I gave him my money and he gave me this ring. He gave me this ring and it said 18K on it. I thought it was 18 karat gold. I'm thinking I just got blessed, right? I take it to a jewelry store. And there was a beautiful Japanese woman there who worked there, but she had a husband. Ugly compared to me. But anywho, she tested it for me and it was fake. I was so pissed off. Like, I wanted my revenge. And you know what the funny thing was is I saw him, but something told me don't do it. Because it isn't right and I'll go to jail and I'll go to hell for it. Ugh. I mean, I know this is different compared to her situation, but the point is she got scammed. She loved the guy. She cared about him, right? And I can see Xiao. She's an amazing girlfriend. I mean, she has her, her relationships in her video. She's cool people. You know, I would love to meet her one day, you know? And it was an honor to be in your video. Xiao, if you're watching this, it was an honor to be in your video, and thank you for that, right? Hope one day we can, you know, talk. Simp. But you know, yeah, dude, it's, it's fucked up. Cause she she don't deserve this shit, right? She don't deserve it. So I mean, I, uh, pretty much, I think, I think this this video and other videos other people might create can help. Cause guys, what if this would be your mom, your ste your single mom or your sister or your grandma? Cause there's far worse things out there that no good old mox here hitting on your grandma and your mom and your sister and your ex girl i'm kidding if you guys are in the streams you know how it rolls mox is the ladies man <laughs> oh man so shall i hope shit gets settled and i just wanted to do my part as a content creator and someone who likes your videos your eat with me's and shit uh, just want to help bring awareness to the situation. Normally I don't do stuff like this. So I'm kind of like, I don't know how to control my emotions right now. It just fucking sucks, dude. This guy is a piece of shit. I wish I could give you guys every bit of information, but unfortunately I can't really find it. But hopefully she gets it settled, you know. Hopefully she can take his ass to court, sue his ass, and... 
lay down the hammer on them. Uh, check out her channel, guys. She's a sweet girl. She's cool as fuck. Funny, too. Very funny girl. You don't find many girls who are real that are funny like that, right? Link in the description and everything like that. So, shout out. Good luck to you. And ain't everybody out there. Take care of your moms. Take care of your girlfriends, your sisters, your grandmas. If you can, help her out. Spread the word. Like those videos. Check you guys later.